All right, what's up guys? I have another extra special treat for you. Now behind me is Pulse Restaurant here in Western Massachusetts, and I believe they're making some of the best vegan pizza in America right now. Now their pizza chef, Chef Casey, is gonna walk us through their pizza making process, as well as give us his special recipe. So let's go. Hi, my name is Casey. I am the sous chef here at Pulse Cafe, and I've been on a three-year journey trying to discover and realize what the limits of vegan pizza can be. My whole goal of being a plant-based chef is to interrupt people. Most Americans are used to meat-centric pizza, and when they try a plant-based sourdough pizza, their mind gets interrupted. You can see it on their faces. In order to have a good pizza, you need to have a good dough. It's like a canvas. Uh, in a painting. And what I've realized is that sourdough brings flavor and texture elevation that you can't get from dry active yeast. So unlike dry active yeast, sourdough is the propagation of the wild yeast in the air. And since germs are different everywhere you go, the sourdough that you have in a specific area is unique to that area. Being here in New England and having a wonderful New England vibe I've come to realize that New England sourdough has the best set of germs. <laughs> sourdough also helps in the digestion of gluten. Uh, because the probiotics, the, the bacteria we catch in the sourdough feeds in the water and the flour and therefore it's like partially digested dough. So besides the water, flour, and of course the bacteria, the important part of this recipe is time and temperature. Temperature is going to tell you how much time your dough needs to ferment. So starting off with the sourdough, it has about an eight to 12 hour time. And once incorporated into the pizza dough itself, it's going to have a two hour bulk ferment and then a 48 hour ferment in the walk-in cooler afterwards. So essentially on Monday mix, you're gonna have pizza on Wednesday. Unless you want to start your sourdough off from scratch, you can actually just go to your local bakery and ask for some sourdough. An important part to this process is a term called auto lease. And what you're doing is allowing the water and flour without the sourdough, you're just mixing the water and flour together. You just want it to sit for 20 to 30 minutes to allow the gluten to be established within the dough itself, within the dough structure. After we auto lease the dough, we incorporate the sourdough and we stream in the salts for about four minutes. And after which we mix it on a higher speed to increase the gluten structure within the dough. So once it's done mixing, we divide the dough into its respective bins and we fold it four times with 30 minute intervals, which equals a two hour ferment. Next, we just cut shape and throw it in the walk-in cooler for 48 hours. For the tomato sauce, it has to be San Marzano tomatoes. I love it. I'm a huge fan of San Marzano tomatoes, specifically the ones that are grown in Italy in rich volcanic soil of Mount Vesuvius. They are dark red, very pulpy, it has a subtly sweet flavor and the peel is easy to remove as well as the seed. And it has a nice umami flavor. Once peeled and deseeded, they get hand crushed and all we add is extra virgin olive oil, salt, and oregano. Traditionally speaking, a margarita pizza is made with buffalo cheese. My favorite substitute for that is our cashew mozzarella cheese. The cashew mozzarella cheese is pretty simple itself. It's soaked cashews for about eight to 12 hours. And then I'll add water, salt, lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, and tapioca starch. Blend it up all together, heat it up, and then you get a nice creamy cashew cheese. So another good cheese I like to use that you can simply get at another store is the Veal Life cheese. We use the Veal Life mozzarella cheese on several of our pizzas, including the pepperoni, the buffalo chicken, as well as our new autumn special, the butternut squash pizza. A pizza traditionalist would say anything beyond the dough, the sauce, the cheese, and the basil is not pizza. But since we're plant-based and we don't have cheese, we're already breaking the rules. So we're just gonna go ahead and break all of them. And we use that as an excuse to make any type of pizza that we want.
I hope you enjoy this video. Come try my pizza here at Pulse Cafe in Hadley, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm.